outfit that I have here. So someone decided to mow their lawn outside today, guys. So I'm sorry for the racket, but it is what it is. I was actually requested to show you guys how to tie a silk scarf. I want to preface this by saying I didn't invent the silk scarf and I also didn't invent ways to style them. So you guys know this has been all over Instagram lately. It's a huge trend. And I also have so much deep respect for people who wear scarves for religious reasons as well as cultural reasons. I'm not gonna really like touch on those today because in my personal like culture and everything, silk scarves are really just used for fashion purposes, but there's so many beautiful women and men out there who could show you guys how to tie different scarves in a way that respects your culture and your religion that like know a lot more about it so i just wanted to like preface that here today we are just showing you guys how to wear silk scarves in a trendy way i put my extensions in so i'm sorry if there's like a christina aguilera dirty moment because they're not blending too well i have a sports bra on here because i want to show you guys how to wear them two different ways as tops and then i'm going to show you guys final looks where obviously i don't have this on and i'll show you guys the bras that i wear with them too you will want a scarf that I would say is at least the length that you could tie it around like that. Because guess what guys, that's the first top. So let's show you guys. So I prefer to actually wear these with sticky boobs underneath just because you will want the detail of the tie and at the same time, like if you don't like the nip situation, it's a great way to cover it. But basically you are gonna to wanna to fold your scarf in half. It's just a plain silk scarf like this. I would say this is about two feet in length for me and you're going to want to fold it diagonally so like a triangle you guys know you've seen me wear this on my Instagram before which is why a lot of you asked for it you just tie it around and I like to do this so basically I like to tie it in the front first and this is how I tie I tie a little bit tighter than you should and then you're going to want to just secure that easy and then you're gonna flip it over and it makes a really cute top ignore the sports bra so like imagine it like this how freaking cute right so that's the first way you can wear your silk scarf this is like the trendy way right now on Instagram super easy I prefer to have a little bit of space here so that way you can cover some side boob action but super easy way to tie a silk scarf so the next way is to make it like a bikini top or just like a top that you will want to wear in the front area so what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to take your scarf <laughs> you're going to want to fold both pieces to the center like this it's a little bit easier flat on a bed but you're going to want to fold them to the center so that way you have something like that and you can use a safety pin here too guys like it doesn't have to be just a silk scarf it can make it a lot easier for you and then you're going to want to tie it as a top but make sure it covers your boobs. This is a super cute way to wear a bikini top or to wear over a bikini top if you're trying to like be stylish or high-waisted pants or anything. I think that this is so cute. And one way to make sure it stays up is to wear boob tape like everywhere. You want that sticky boob tape. I'll show you guys what I use in the description box below and then also sticky boobs so that way you're super secure. I want to get into different ways you can wear them in your hair and just really easy ways. And all you will need is another elastic just in case, but you don't even really need that if your hair holds well with silk scarves. Just my hair is very slippery because it's straight and the silk is obviously very slippery. So I'll need a hair elastic for some of these. So thrifting is the best way to find these kind of scarves. I got this one for 225 and this one for like two bucks. So they're super affordable and they are just so fun to wear in your hair, which is why I got them. So I want to show you guys, I had this in my hair the head wrap way. So I'll show you guys how I do that. And that's why I have the extensions in. But so what you're going to do is fold it in half. You want to put it on your hair and then you're going to want to do this. So turn around. Okay, I'll show you guys this way. And then you're going to want to tie the ends together like in a knot like this. And I like to make sure that my eyebrows are showing because it looks the best that way and tuck everything in so it kind of just frames a little like a hat and this is the way I wore it it's so cute on the beach guys and I think it's a fun way to wear your scarves I know a lot of people have been doing this at music festivals and like going out and stuff so this is the first way love it I think it's really really fun so the second way you could do this 
is actually, I like love this way. I used to wear it like this when I was like little. So you're gonna fold it in half again and you're gonna wanna frame your face. So I like to start about an inch away from my hair and you're gonna want to put your hair to the side so that way you could tie it around. So you're gonna tie a knot under your, all your hair. So almost like where the bottom of your headband would sit, that's where the bottom would sit. So you guys can see right here. So that is pretty much it for the second one. It's like kind of a modification of the first one. You can also not do the front pieces if you want to, but I really like the way this looks. I would do it with like a little coordinating like set and stuff like that. I think it's really, really fun. And then the third way, this is why I want to put in my extensions because I really want a lot of drama for this messy bun. So we're gonna tie it. <laughs> A little messy bun at the end like this like super messy and undone and i like to leave some face framing layers out and i like to take a little scarf for this because like you don't really need a big one unless you have like a lot of hair so you wrap around twice and you tie i like to just do it once and then you keep it and it's really really like pretty with like a little white crop top or anything like that and then the next way is the headband. You're going to fold it towards the center again, like how I showed you. So I just kept making sure that they meet in the middle. And we are going to take this, and it's better to have your hair up for this, so that way you know exactly where to tie it. And then you do this, and then you bring all your hair back. Okay, so I decided to tie it like this, and we are gonna let my hair down, even though it's really cute up like this as well. And again, it just adds a lot of drama such a fun way to wear it. This also literally only took me like five minutes. So that's like another really good thing about wearing scarves as hair accessories. So the next thing I'm gonna show you guys how to do is to wear it around your neck. And I've done this previously, like when I used to go out and stuff, like back when I really used to go out, cause I thought it was fun. Um, especially if you're wearing a little black tank top kind of like this and it's very good for festival season. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start on the back, make your way towards the front and we're keeping the same formation that it was in for the um, headband. So you can literally go from headband from day to night in this. And then you just tie it around like this. And it's really cute for like, if you're going to any country music concerts or like you're just adding a little extra like drama to your outfit. I think this is super, super cute. And we can't forget our final accessories, handbags. So there are two ways that you can do this. For your handbags, the first way, I have it on my Louis Vuitton here just because it's a top handle bag, like you guys know. And I love having a twilly on it. I think it just jazzes it up. And it's really, really easy once you got that whole half folding technique down that I showed you guys earlier. And then the next way is really simple, but you just put a little bow on your purse. And I've done this before and it really jazzes up any bag. You could get a bag from the thrift store and a scarf from the thrift store and it's just gonna look super fashionable and like you got it at like a big box like retailer or something like that. But I love the way both of these look. Let me know if you guys have a favorite. I'll pull you guys up here on the screen. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed 10 different ways that you guys can wear your scarves. This video was asked a lot of me. You guys were DMing me and stuff like that. So if you guys ever wanna be involved in what kind of content I'm creating next, you guys should head on over to my Instagram. I'm not sure if everyone knows this, but I actually upload two to three times a week and I really try to pump out all that good stuff for you guys. So. You guys should definitely join the Naughty Squad. It's a fun time. And with that being said, I'm going to go. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.